Do you take vacations by yourself a lot? I do. Do you prefer to vacation by yourself than with other people? I do. I like doing things by myself all the time. I like going to like the aquarium by myself. I can sit and stare at one fish for like an hour and there's no one tapping me being like, we gotta go. Hola, como estas? Soy un gecko. I am here in uh, Playa del Carmen near Cancun. Uh, I was on a vacation uh, to kind of decompress from the first leg of my uh, live therapy gecko tour. And I was here and I was like, you know what? I have all of the stuff with me. I might as well go out to the beach. Never done one on the beach before. I might as well go out and see if anyone would be willing to talk to me. Uh, I think a lot of people think that I am here trying to charge money for pictures. But that is not true. I don't want anyone's money. I just want their stories, their feelings, their their human experiences. Let's see if I am successful. Hello. Hello, my friend. Co ¿Cómo te llamas? My name is Andreas Vega. Andreas Vega. Yeah. Hey, um, ¿Qué, ¿Qué haces hoy? What are you doing here today uh, a la playa? What are you doing here on the beach? Uh, actually, I'm a blogger from YouTube and I record the 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 beach, uh, some restaurant, hotel tours. Okay. Uh, all about Playa del Carmen, Cancun, Tulum. Uh, 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 vives aquí, sí? You live yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, I'm living here. And uh, per, per cuántos años vives aquí? For how long have you lived uh, here? About seven years ago. Seven years ago? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where did you move from? Uh, from Mexico, Michoacán. Michoacán? Yeah. And now, why did you choose to come here to Playa del Carmen? The beach. The beach. Just for the beach. Okay. Uh, I te, love. ¿Qué qué qué te gusta a, a la beach? What uh, what do you like about the beach? Los los <laughs> the blue the <laughs> azul es turquesa. Azul. Sorry for my English is too bad. But... No, es mejor than <laughs> mi español. Your English is way better than my Spanish. It's all good. <laughs> the you know the the sun the beach. I don't know how to say arena in English. Ra rocks, dirt. No rocks. This one. Oh, uh, sand. Uh, sand. Sand, sand, sorry. Sand. <laughs> the sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the, the the life in in the beach. Okay. And uh, so you're a blogger, and, and are you a blogger full-time? Yeah. Okay. No, no, not full-time. I'm, I'm an architect, and the blog is just for a hobby. Okay. Do you have a lot of uh, friends and family who live in Playa del Carmen? Um, my mom and my, I don't know how to say, primo. Uh, uh, sister, hermana? No, primo, no. primo, primo uh, cousin, like, co cousin. I think that means cousin, cousin, right? Yeah, it's cousin. Oh, okay. It's cousin. Oh, están aquí. Yeah, they're here. Yeah, from vacation. Oh, oh, oh so they're visiting <laughs> you on vacation. Yeah. Okay. Are you? Well, that must be great that you're like a blogger about tourism, and your parents come to visit you on vacation because you take them to all the best yeah. spots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where Where have you been taking them? Do you um? Va, van van uh, nightclub on noche. Do you go to the nightclub? Yeah, to the 12th Avenue is all the far all the party is here is there. It's on 12th Avenue. 12th Avenue, Coco Bongo, Mandala, Baquita. Ah, all I went the, to Coco Bongo uh, all last the clubs. night. The Coco Bongo? Yeah, it's cool now. I feel like I could have walked on stage dressed as this and nobody would have batted an eye. <laughs> I love Coco Bongo, but just well, one time before is this is the same show. Yeah, and right. You you don't go every weekend. Yeah, yeah. Know? Where so where are your like favorite things to do around here? Around here or, or around what? Uh, um, what what are your favorite things to do uh, aquí in Playa del Carmen? Okay, uh, go to a beach boat in Playa Car. Okay. Playa Car, the the blue sea is better. Mamitas, go to beach club, rooftop. Okay. Um. Clubs at night. Okay. Okay. Antros in Spanish is antros. Antros. Uh, que 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 significa antros? Antros is the same like like a club. Okay. A antros club. is the club. Okay. Okay. And um, what what? Tell me about your personal life, man. Are you? Do you like are you in a relationship at all? No, what I'm about? not single. You're single. Okay. Single, like. <laughs> and uh, uh, do you, are you enjoying the single life? Yeah. In Playa del Carmen, you you can be in a relationship. You can't be in a you relationship. Can, you can. No, you are can. you going out to the club? <laughs> uh, a new, new, new person every night. Yeah, it is the is the problem because uh, here is too much tourists from USA, Europe, 
yeah. and you know person every night. Are you making a lot of new friends? Yeah. Asesa, nuevas amigo, amigos, the um, I don't know if I'm saying, I get my fucking English and Spanish mixed up. Nue <laughs> nuevo, new, right? Nuevo, new, yeah. Okay, cool. I thought it was, okay. Uh, Asesa, nueve amigos, um, the uh, mucho diferente countries. Yeah, you, yeah. From very different countries, you make new friends. Yeah. Okay, okay. And it's that must be uh, 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 interesting because they come here, you meet them, you have a good time with them, and then they, they leave uh, for yeah. a long time. These are the tourists. Where can we find your blogs, man? The, where can I find the name? See, uh, se llama the uh, YouTube. Oh, fuck, that's fucking oh, okay. Italian again. Oh, you can again. find me like... Well, what's the name of your YouTube Stega. channel? Yeah, actually... Oh, we're gonna film a video right now. How to are we are Gecko. Gecko, Gecko. No, no hablo español bien, pero uh, soy un Gecko de la playa. Uh, I am the Gecko of the beach. Uh, hoy es un um, bien día para um, un hablar. Día, un, un día bonito. Un día bonito, a beautiful yeah, it's like day. A perfect day, a beautiful day. Un bio, claro, okay. Uh, I, that, I think that made sense. Un bonito día. Per um, estar un gecko y, uh, y uh, hacer nueve amigos. Yeah, bro. Sí, sí, nice. Sí. Um, eh, ¿Alguien más uh, quiere uh, hablar a las personas de la computer? Is there anything else you want to say to the people of the computer? Um, not really. Just I love now geckos and subscribe to my channel, Andreas Vega. It's from Mexico. Andreas, mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Really nice. Thanks for talking to a gecko, man. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for sitting. I think people, I think most people, and you know, rightly enough, most people think I'm like trying to charge them money for pictures and stuff. Oh, no, no, honestly, I just find it really fun. What's what's your name? Katie. Katie, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, gecko. What are you doing here on uh, the beach of Playa del Carmen? Vacation, I guess. Okay. I guess with like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, what do you do when you're not vacationing? I'm working. You're working. <laughs> do you not? Do you like your job? I love my job. What do you do? I work in hotel. You work in hotels. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, so so like, weirdly enough, does going on vacation and being at a hotel like make you think about work? Actually, it does. But when you switch it off. It's so much better. Okay. Okay. So I switched it up. Who are you here with? Anyone? No, by myself. Oh, you came by yourself. Yeah. That's great. Do you do you take vacations by yourself a lot? I do. Do you prefer to vacation by yourself than with other people? I do. Why is that? Because I don't have to wait for anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, in the morning you wake up. Okay, I might go back to bed. That's okay. There's no one next to you say, oh, let's go to for breakfast right. or let's go somewhere do shopping or something. Yep. You decide your own schedule. Yep, yep, yep. So that's what I love about it. I like that too. Yeah, I, I like uh, I like doing things by myself all the time. I like going to like the aquarium by myself. I can sit and stare at one fish for like an hour and there's no one tapping me being like, we got to go. Do you use uh, that outfit when you do that? Sometimes. It'd be fun to do one of these at the aquarium. You should. Um, so you're on what what is your uh, how long are you on vacation for uh i've been here for three days already so i yeah. have five more days five so you're on vacation for eight weeks no eight i mean days. Eight, eight, days. eight days eight days is yes. what i meant to say so can I, can I ask you though so you're vacationing by yourself and i totally understand that's how i like to do my vacations too does it ever get lonely sometimes it does you know okay. sometimes you're like okay because the thing is it's easier to meet people when you're by yourself but definitely yeah when you have like you in the crowd and everything, people are maybe you know worried to actually approach you, mm -hmm. and by yourself it's so much different. But sometimes it does get lonely. Mm -hmm. You're in a restaurant, you're something, you're looking at all the people, so you don't want to disturb them. So you end up being alone a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. you want, might want to do some activities, and you have to pair with someone, yeah. but you're by yourself. Yeah. So yeah. Sometimes it does, but at the end of the day. The highlight is because I feel like I've met so much, so many people. Definitely. And I'm a people person, so I love it. Definitely. I, that's my favorite part of traveling alone is it makes it easier to meet other people, weirdly enough. Exactly. Have you been meeting a lot of people in your travels so far? Honestly, yes. Where, where are you meeting? Like going out to clubs and... Anywhere. Today I went, um, I met a French lady. I'm French. Yeah. And she's so nice. I was just, you know, doing shopping and I met her. So we connected on Instagram, so we'll see how it goes now. That's great. That's great. Where where in France are you from? Where in France? Yeah. 
Actually, I was raised in Cholet, it's a small little town next to Nantes. Do you know, yeah. friends? I know, I know Paris, and I know Nice, uh, yes. which I called Nice for a very long time until I like found out it was nice, pronounced Nice. Like the movie. What movie? Bruce Denis or Bruce the Nice or something? No, I've never no. heard of any movie uh, with, you should, with Nice. You have to watch this. Movie. Okay, it's I will. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> well, I guess we're recording it. Hopefully, I hope this thing is on. How about you? Uh, you meeting a lot of people? I say that again. Have you? Did you meet a lot of people? Um, let's see. I met one guy just now who's a, a travel blogger. Okay. I met you. <laughs> it's it's very. I'm glad I met you because I. After about 10 people or hordes of people are walking by and I'm like trying to get them to talk to me and they're like not looking and it's <laughs> funny because earlier today I was walking around just as myself around the town and other people in costumes have you seen them no there's like yet. guys running around just as spider-man or like people okay. who like are you know standing outside of restaurants like trying to be like hey come you know take a picture or whatever and I do the same thing to them <laughs> so I feel like I'm on the opposite side of what I've been gave out this morning, you know. Okay, so my question is: Please, you YouTuber or you have an Instagram? I, I have both. I do you YouTube and Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Do so, you? Are you a, a vlogger of any kind? Do you um, document your travels? I don't. Do you, have, do you have a journal at all? I have my personal journal. Yes. Okay. It's a written one. Nobody okay. actually have to read it. It's for myself. What do you, can I ask? What kinds of things you talk about in the journal? Anyway, anything. 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 What? What in um. What did your entry sound like yesterday? Do you do yesterday? it every day? Not every day, only when I feel like it. Yesterday, uh, I was so tired. So actually looked like, okay, that's what I did today. And I was talking about the fact that, you know, when you're exhausted, it comes from so many things. So it came from, I was talking about society and I was talking about so many things at once. So yeah. Okay, you're talking about society. I am. You have thoughts about society that you've I been because when you when you're traveling alone, I know this from experience. You got lots of time to just think. Exactly. Can I hear like some of your thoughts about society? No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll fair enough. I'll do it for myself. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, where where are you off to next? Off uh, next, I'll just walk a little bit more, try to see around. I'm not actually staying in Playa del Carmen. I'm actually staying in Tulum, so okay. I have to take a collective walk back to Tulum soon. Mm -hmm. So, what kinds of things do you do back home in in France? Like, what, what besides when you're not working, when you're not vacationing, what do you do with your life? I'm boring. No, actually, for some people, I'm boring. But for myself, I'm not boring. I don't think you're boring at all. You're traveling to foreign countries alone. You're zooming all around. Yeah. Well, what I do, I knit, I draw sometimes. I sing for myself. Okay. I go shopping with my friends, and honestly, I spend actually my time to actually look, read a lot. You draw, you said. Yeah. What kinds of things inspire your art? People. People. <laughs> okay, you like to draw people. I like to draw people. But do you draw your family and friends? No. What do you? What kind of people do you draw? Just people I see around. Just people you see around. Mm -hmm. So have you been doing that at all? Like just kind of no, sitting yeah. on the beach and. No, here. Yeah. No, I'm on vacation. Okay. Maybe when I go back to my room. Okay. We'll see. I respect that. I was thinking myself. I was I was about to not do this because I was sitting in my hotel room and yeah. I was like, I'm on vacation. Should, do I really need to bust out the gecko soup? But every time I do, I'm glad because I, I get to meet people. Someone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, question for you. Please. How long have you been on vacation for? Uh, I got here t two days ago. Two days ago. And I leave tomorrow. Oh, that's a short vacation. It's a short vacation, but I, I honestly... I uh, well, I've been I um I do I do uh like live shows and stuff, okay. and I was on a tour in the U.S. Okay. And for about two weeks, and I came straight from that tour so you're to comedian. here. So uh, you're Outside of this, you're comedian. I I do the I, I actually do I do this, but on stage. On stage. With people, and so I've been doing that for two weeks, and then I came right here, and then I um. Uh, you got me curious. Now I'm gonna have to go and actually check you out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll show you. I'll show you the the gram. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm actually like, it, it was a short trip, but it's perfect amount because I'm I'm very ready to go home actually okay. and do nothing. I haven't been in my apartment for two weeks, so it could be on fire right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Or oh, mushrooms growing. Mushrooms growing, dead mice. <laughs> do you do you live alone? I live alone too. Are you not worried that like so I'm always worried that something's gonna happen? No. No, I mean, I live in Montreal, so... Oh, really? If, if something actually, if my apartment has to catch fire, 
I will know. <laughs> I've never been to Montreal before. You have to. Is it worth it? Is it worth it, it, it to go? So worth it. Okay. It is amazing. Okay. It's an amazing city. Um, especially during summer with all the festival. If you like, you know, meeting people, you know, all the festival, the music. You love music. Are you a music festival person? I am. Okay, I, I got that vibe from you. You have this like friendly, open vibe to yourself that I, I see whenever I go to music well, festivals. Exactly. So music festival is so much, so many of them in Montreal. So you don't get bored, and it's always alive. So now winter is coming soon and so, uh, what kind of music do you listen to anything anything so this summer most of it was house because of the person I've been uh, spending time with this summer she loves house electro so we've been going to this kind of uh, music festival but it depends on the mood I guess okay okay what uh, what have you been listening to while you've been on vacation classic classical music and yeah, like do 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 like that kind of stuff well, no, mostly like, yeah, a little bit, but not the same. Piano music? Piano music. Interesting. Interesting. Is that what you were listening to while you were walking? No, I don't have any... Any earbuds? No, I really don't. What do you... When you when you relax on the beach, yeah. are you like... Do you listen to music? Do you read a book? Or do you... So, do you sleep or do you just l stare at the ocean? What do you... How do you <laughs> relax? I listen to the ocean. Okay. Well, yeah, and I read, but I don't have my book today, so it won't work. And yeah, that's it. You just listen to the people around you. You, you, e you eavesdrop on folks? No. No? It's boring. <laughs> it's I, boring. Unless, unless it's a con you know, like an interesting conversation. No, it's boring. Oh, have you, uh, like, you've tried eavesdropping on people and you're like, I don't care about your, no. you know, the divorce you're going through oh or the... No. You, I don't try, but sometimes it comes up. Okay. I'm pretty sure you do that. If you ask me the question, it means that you do that. You do that. That I eavesdrop? Yes. Well, yeah, my whole thing is, you know, talking to people. I'm always curious what's going on with people. I eavesdrop on stuff. I also, um, I like, you know, I, I, I'm always trying to pay attention to how other people behave and talk because it keys me into like, you know, how should I behave and talk as, <laughs> as I maneuver through the universe? And so maybe I'll listen to other people and I'll be like, man, that guy having this conversation the right to me, he's really confident. I should like take notes on what he's, you know, saying. So I'll do that you occasionally. Do that. Yeah. Not, I would like literally pull out a pen and take notes, but yeah. like mental notes. I get it. You learn from the other people. Exactly. 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 So my question is, do you yes. speak Spanish? Un poquito. Un poquito. Is okay. that even a word, poquito? Yeah, I think so. I, I'm not I, the best in Spanish, I know an, I know a handful of phrases and enough that I can, like, walk around, walk and, around, walk around. and say a few things, yeah, but I can't too. really have, like, a conversation. No, me too. What do you, what do you, do you know any Spanish? I, well, donde la playa. Donde That's la playa. <laughs> la playa es aquí. Okay. Uh, um, mi nombre mi nombre, mi nombre, I guess. Si. Si. Tu nombre es Katie. 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 Cat. Cat. It's Katie, but okay. it says in French. Okay. Okay. If you want Katie Perry. And and same. you know French. I'm French. I I feel like Spanish and French are like actually kind of similar. Uh, I guess. I've been told that, but you know, with uh, four years trying to learn Spanish, not that much. <laughs> you spent four years trying to learn Spanish? Not really. Okay. Like, you know, trying. In the back four years of Duolingo. Exactly. You said it. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, you kind of look like the guy, the, you know, like. I, are you saying I look like the Duolingo bird? Yeah. I've never gotten that before, but that's true. I've gotten, people say I look like a frog. They say I look like Yoshi. You mostly look like a frog. You, I, I'll, I'll take that. Yes. I respect that. I don't, but, I'm not a frog, but people have been, you know, I, I don't know. I think in Spanish, the word gecko is just gecko. But people have been pointing at me and being like, like little kids will be like, Papi, es la rana, es la rana. That means frog. Okay. Or, or es a, el zapo, zapo. What is it? Uh, is it, those, is are, it? those are both frogs and I toads. mean, is it like from a cartoon? I don't even know. Um, oh, like me? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, I'm just like a gecko. <laughs> okay. Um, so your friends and family, are you keeping in touch with them at, while you are here on the beach? Are they like not worried about you? They're used to it. My dad called me this morning. Okay. To wish me a happy birthday in advance. So yeah. Is today your happy? Is today your birthday? Tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> what are you gonna do for your birthday? Well, I'm gonna go visit the Rions in Tulum in the morning. In the afternoon, uh, I booked an excursion 
I think they're taking me around, I think not too far from here, something like that. Okay. And in the evening, I booked a dinner in a restaurant. Yeah. From what I understand, it's a Yucatan style cuisine. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, can I ask you a, a question that I, I'm curious about? I, 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 I love to solo travel. I love going place by myself. I have friends who, who are women that I, I tell them about it and they're like, oh, I wish I could do that, but they're like afraid for their safety. But yet when I'm on the road, I do meet a lot of like solo female travelers. So I'm like, well, there are people out there doing it. Do you have like anything that you would say or any advice to anyone who is like afraid to, to go out and travel by themselves, like safety wise, but, but wants to do it? The thing is a phrase. Well, we only have one life. So if you have to live by your fear, you will never live. Mm. That will be something that I will say, because uh, to be honest with you, I was afraid to, to come. But every single time I actually go travel, I'm always scared. What if something happens to me? What if this happens to me? But as long as you actually, you know, just do your own research and actually you need to find the places where you're comfortable with and you don't have to do things that you don't feel comfortable with. So don't force yourself. But at the same time, you need to enjoy life. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you feel as though uh, you, you are good at conquering your fears? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> but were, were you were you afraid to come out here by yourself? Well, you know, in Tul here no. Playa de Cayman is different, but Tulum yes, because Tulum is in the jungle, something like that. Mm -hmm. And my hotel is actually right in the middle of the jungle. From what I understand, your hotel's in the middle of the jungle. It's something like that, I guess, because around it, when I look at the map, there's nothing just besides this, and we're just next to the sea. So beside the sea, the resort and the jungle. There's some other resort next to it, but there's nothing around. So that's worrisome. But other than that, I mean, no. You know, I'm scared of spiders. I'm scared of all these things. So obviously. Are you uh, Are you ever going to face those fears? Are you ever going to? Well, I have no choice at some point, I guess. <laughs> if they come up to me, <laughs> what am I going to do? I like that. I like what you said. Just say, say what you said again. You said if you live by your fear, you won't. Live well, at all, something like that? Yes. Yeah, so basically, if you have to live by your fail, you will never live at all. Mm. Tell me, is that something, is that a philosophy that you kind of had to work your way up towards? Or was that something you've always had within you? I had to learn it. How do you feel like you learned it? My friends. Your friends? The people surrounding me. The people I've been meeting. So, I mean, you know, it takes a lot of courage to actually decide to live, you know, where you were raised so leave France was not easy but I wanted to leave anyway so I started with London and then I moved after that to Canada and then from Canada okay now I'm traveling a little bit more around so you need to start somewhere right right I feel like that's like the people I've talked to who are like afraid of um you know traveling it's like go take a weekend to like another state first yeah. you don't have to yeah. start by going to Korea no, exactly you don't know do that. you just start in another state and then you kind of work your way up exactly. kind of like you were talking about so just start some with something exactly just go somewhere where it's gonna be something different and then slowly by slowly you will have the confidence to actually go further and um, what's your next trip that you're gonna take I don't know I really don't know well technically yes I have to take a plane back to Montreal but honestly I'm hoping that next year I'm gonna go to Bali Bali. Bali. I've heard cool things about Bali. Me too. I've heard that like in, in all those places like Bali and Vietnam and Thailand, there's like a big solo travel, you know, community there. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot yeah. of people over there. Yeah. And surprising, there's a lot of French people everywhere. So that's fun. Have you met? Uh, tell me this. I, I have been to France and uh, it was cool. I, people talk a lot about how they think that French people can can be assholes. <laughs> now you're very nice. Everybody can be assholes. Everybody can be assholes. I, that's why I thought too. That's why I think too. Anytime there's any sort of like generalization of yeah. like, you right. know, well the people from this part of America or this part of Europe can be this. But I'm I like, ah, there's everywhere. I do get the feeling because to be nice with you. Paris is another environment. I'm not from Paris. Okay. So I love Parisian people and I do love them. But the environment sometimes when you're an outsider, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. But it's the same for big cities, you know, like in London is the same. 
Some people, when they actually, you know, British people, they will go to London, but they don't feel comfortable because the vibe is different. But it, it is the same in big cities, you know? Same thing for people that comes from Calgary, let's say, and they will have to go to Montreal. Or Montreal is a big city or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's the same. But at the end of the day, I will say, if you go to France, don't stop at Paris. You have to travel around. Okay. Try okay. the small cities. My France is such a beautiful country. You know, it's all the history, all all the different places, the culture and the the food. The food. It's all about the food anyway. So yes. What is your name again? Katie. Katie. Thank you for talking to a gecko. I want to say, just just to anyone who's listening at home, because you know I sat here and I have uh, 20 uh, tons of people are walking by. They're not looking at me. I'm about to get. I say this every episode. I'm about to give up. I'm like, ah, fuck, nobody's going to come stop. And then a very friendly person <laughs> stops by. We have a good conversation. It always goes to show that, uh, you know, stick it out for a little <laughs> bit longer and uh, something fun and cool will happen. Thank so, you so much, Gekko. Thank you very much. Is there anything really nice else you. you want to say to the people of the computer? Uh, well, Gecko is nice. And thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you for talking to me today. I you appreciate made my day, it. You actually. Oh, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you. Have a good rest of uh, the trip. Yeah. I'm giving you my gecko blessings for the remaining five days. And uh, I'll see you out there in the universe. Thank you. Of course. Soy la rana de la playa. Soy la rana de la playa. Habla con la rana de la playa. Que quieres hablar con la rana de la playa. Hey, you want to talk to a gecko for the internet? So wait, so you guys have seen the thing before? Yeah, yeah. somewhere. Um, what are your guys' names? Uh, I'm Taylor. Taylor? I'm Austin. Taylor and Austin, where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Oregon. Okay. I'm Colorado. Okay, what are, you, what are you guys doing here in Playa del Carmen? <laughs> We're on our honeymoon. You're on your honeymoon? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> well, when did you guys get married? Last Saturday. Oh, how was the wedding? It was great, we loved it. It was, it was beautiful. What kind of food was there? Ooh. It was Ooh. <laughs> Olive Garden. <laughs> oh, you had Olive Garden yeah. catering? We, we had a really, really small wedding. We did it um, in Grants Pass, which is like a real foresty town in southern Oregon. And so it was just the closest thing nearby, and that's what we did. Mm. And um, why did you have a – did you like – was it hard having the small wedding, being like, okay, we can invite these people? <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, well, with Zoom, it made it a lot easier, Yeah. Um, you know, because we gave everyone a Zoom invite who – you know, wouldn't necessarily be invited. Um, so it kind of turned out pretty good. And we were happy that everyone was able to like tune in that way. You but gave yeah. everyone a Zoom invite. Mm -hmm. What, is, how do you, how does that work? <laughs> I mean, it was easy. I mean, it yeah, easy. it was great. I mean, all of our, we just wanted something really tiny, really cheap. And we were just like, hey guys, like, you guys want to tune in for Zoom? Here's the date, here's the time, here's the link, here you go. Oh, so you live streamed the wedding. Yeah, so we actually we actually recorded it on a phone and yeah. then like screen shared it with all the Zoom people the day of the wedding. So it, it worked out really well. Yeah, wow. Out. How did you guys meet? <laughs> Through mutual friends. Kind of okay. a boring story, okay. but yeah, mutual friends. Was the wedding, was it emotional? Did you cry? <laughs> did it? Oh, I sobbed. I really? absolutely sobbed. As soon as I saw her come down the aisle in that dress, I was I was done. I was sobbing. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I was stone cold through most of it, but I think, <laughs> I, I think it was mostly nerves. I kind of get like that when I'm nervous. Yeah. I kind of have to turn it off a little bit, but like as soon as we started doing like the dances, like we did the mother-son, the father-daughter mm -hmm. dance, mm -hmm. like our first dance, like all of that got me really, really emotional. Mm -hmm. How long had you guys been dating before you got married? Uh, we've been dating for about a year before that. Okay, great, great, great. And uh, what what are, what are the plans for married life? Is there a child, a dog? <laughs> What's right maybe a cat or a dog? Children okay. not on the not on the yeah horizon so, right now. So you guys are both from different places, but where where are we stations? We're in Oregon right now. We're okay, in Northern Oregon, like forty five minutes south of Portland. Okay, okay. Yeah. Why did you choose to come here for the honeymoon? I lived here for years before. You lived here before? I lived here, yeah. What did you? Years. What were you doing here? Uh, I did schooling. Um, I, I lived like literally down the beach for like five years. Oh shit! Yeah. What? Why did you? Why were you in school in Playa del Carmen? My family just didn't want to raise raise their son in the states, and they were like, "Hey, let's go somewhere else." So we moved to Mexico. So you speak and, Spanish? Yeah, I speak Spanish. 
And should I fluent Spanish? Pretty pretty fluently. When people look at you, are they surprised that you speak oh, fluent I'm Spanish? Shocked. I've I've gotten so much stuff of like people talking about me and I'm like, oh <laughs> there you are. What, I see you. What yeah. kinds of things have you overheard people oh, so say much. to you? How skinny I am, I get that a lot. Okay, that's how, good. You know, tall, stuff like that. How beautiful she is, I get that a lot. But other than that, they're pretty nice usually, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They call us they call us white people, you know. And yeah. Okay. He got called Justin Bieber earlier. That was pretty funny. But that was in English <laughs> well, that's kind to of a our compliment. face. Yeah. All right, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> so good. what is it? Um, okay, so you met through mutual friends. What was the? Did the wedding have like a theme? Like did it have colors? Uh, I guess. Um, so I'm a very indecisive person. Okay. So I kind of went with uh, whatever I thought looked nice. I, I wanted to go for fall colors because you know September. I like so the fall. Yeah. yeah, went for fall colors. Went for our chairs. We got married in like these two. Uh, I don't know what you would call them. Kind vintage. of, vi yeah, vintage Victorian style, kind of whimsical yellow chair. So we got you got free married. On sit wait, wait, you got married sitting down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that a, I, don't people usually get married yeah. standing up? They can. We've also seen it a lot though, where people, yeah, yeah, like sit down during the ceremony. It was like a fifteen minute ceremony because we were like, okay. we, didn't, we don't. Do you want to stand through. for no. fifteen uh, minutes? <laughs> not really. I was wearing heels. It was kind of on a rocky incline. We weren't really about that. So, okay. Yeah. But, what, yeah. what do you guys do for for work? Um, I work in retail right now. And okay. I'm an accountant. Okay. Yeah. Where Where in retail? I work at a Marshalls right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you encounter? I've heard only really kind of nightmarish stories <laughs> from retail. Is it? Honestly, I think because we live in somewhat of a smaller town, like yeah. uh, I don't experience too many bad things. I okay. mean, you get the occasional like crackhead that comes in, but sure. besides that, it's so pretty So if chill. it's a small town, then do you have regulars that come in? Oh and they're like, yeah, totally. Okay. 100%. Okay. But nothing too crazy. Unfortunately, my line of work isn't super, you know, worth talking about. But well, what are you guys? What are your dreams for the future? I think on it. Uh, yeah, you go ahead. Travel. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Just the basics. You. I feel like if you speak Spanish, it'll be great for you to go to all the like Latin American countries and Absolutely. down a lot of places in South America. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very helpful. To well, and, and he lived in Costa Rica for a little while too, yeah. and so I think we really want to visit there too because I've never been. I've never really been been to a couple states but i haven't traveled much at all so i'm excited to kind of start doing that do you have a, a a thirst for adventure as well oh totally what's I mean, on your bucket list oh that's a great question well i just went um we went on a what is it called a ski jet like a jet we a jet, jet, ski. jet ski i've been seeing those out there and i'm yeah. like i should fucking get it on a jet ski <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I mean I did that and I mean believe me I was a baby about it But like I'm slowly starting to like, you know Sink out of my comfort zone a little bit and okay. do more and more things I don't really have a you know a ton of crazy stuff on the bucket list Have but... you have you been like trying to encourage her to oh, yeah be more adventurous? <laughs> Absolutely I mean I I grew up like that we grew up here We grew up in all different countries and like I wanted just to have her experience that part of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah totally. so, so. How, how long in total did you go to school here? Um, I was here from since I was a baby and then I did all the way up to like third or fourth grade and then we moved away moved back and I did like a lot of my high school years here um, online and stuff. So wait so dude like do, you must have like friends who live here. Yeah, yeah. Have, uh, have you been able here. to like see them on the honeymoon at all? No, I mean, it's kind of hard. It's, it's kind of hard. On the honeymoon. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Like, dude, yeah, yeah. I feel like if he went off to hang out with his friends, he'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. No. Yeah. I can't leave her. Yeah. It's a honeymoon. Yeah. 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 What are you guys just plan? How long are you here for? Um, until tomorrow. Monday. Mon Monday. Yeah. What are you guys just plans? This We're is gonna, it. Yeah. Just much chilling right. out on the beach. Just hanging out. Beach. Yeah. Does life get better than this? No, it really doesn't. Paradise, I mean, girl, we get to talk to a real gecko, so like that's that's cool that, that you guys before. have seen yeah. the thing. Well, I, I I've been telling everyone this, but like I was very nervous that nobody would come and talk to me because they would all think that I'm like trying to scam them or some shit, no, or that no. I'm gonna you know charge no. them twenty five dollars. <laughs> it's all I'm just okay. here. I'm just I'm not trying to get anyone's money. Just you know, mm -hmm. the the stories of their life. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any crazy stories of like sitting out here? Uh no, I was sitting out here. No, nothing, nothing crazy. Mainly just pleasant. pleasant. No, no. Very like pleasant that. conversations. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, like two and a half years. Well, I've I've been doing, taking. I've only actually been doing like this thing for like a few months, since yeah. uh, March. But I've been taking phone calls. Nice. For a long time. Nice. That's cool. That's, That's cool that you guys cool. have. Well, you saw it on TikTok yeah, or something. TikTok. I think That's it exactly was TikTok. Really TikTok. Do you also have a podcast? Yeah, I do have a okay, podcast. Yeah, I think that's where I first. Yeah, saw you. Where do you do you guys watch a lot of TikTok? I probably do more than him, but yeah. 
What do you guys? So when you're just like chilling at home, what do you guys do? Do you like? Uh, I mean, just kind of different stuff. Honestly, marriage life is not <laughs> not, not, super su- not super exciting, but you're very content in the moment. So even if you're just hanging out, watching a movie, reading a book on TikTok, whatever it is, you just kind of enjoy the other's presence. Have so. both of you guys always wanted to get married? I think so. Yeah. I think me more than probably her, actually. <laughs> I had to do a little bit convincing, but mm-hmm. it worked out. Yeah. No, I think it's both been like a really big goal, like goal of ours. So that's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. So, and what, are you excited that it's finally you know done? You don't have to look for because oh, yeah. it's a whole it's a whole thing. I mean, you know, you were talking about like marrying marriage life, married life. Mm-hmm. You know, not being as exciting, but it's like fucking single life is stressful. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> Like dating, going at like every guy, like you go out to a club and you're thinking like, oh, I should go talk to someone. And you're oh, like, yeah. ah, you have to deal with like the anxiety of like, oh, I need to like put myself out there. No yeah. one wants to do that. Right. It's nice to fucking be like, all right, yeah, this is we it. found yeah. love. Yeah. Check. Totally. Right. We did it. Yeah. Well, you have a person you can travel and adventure with for the rest of your life. And yeah. that's that's special. It's, oh, like that's a built, it's like a built in best friend. So that's nice. beautiful. Yeah. Love that's it. awesome, man. Is there anything else you guys want to say to the people of the computer? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I'm just excited we got to talk to a real gecko. Oh, I'm excited man. I got to talk to you guys, man. This is <laughs> this is random. Yeah. Right. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. I love it. I think you it's feel like you're in a fever dream. <laughs> yeah, I know. In a fever dream. We're all in a fever dream <laughs> together. What are you guys' names again? Uh, I'm Taylor. Taylor. I'm Austin. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Nice to meet Austin, you. Austin, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Good luck on your married life journey. Thank you. And uh, wishing you, you many, many years of happiness. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh, how beautiful. Young love etched in history forever <laughs> on the beaches of Playa del Carmen. Oh, this has been great. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. This has been great. This has been way more productive than I thought it was going to be. I say this every episode, and every episode it is true. I did not want to do this when I first (laughs) stepped out. I was in the hotel room. Hey, man, you want to talk to a gecko? He doesn't. I was in the hotel room, and I was like, should I, like, you know, leave and go do stuff? Or uh, should I, I don't know if I want to, like, be working while I'm on it. Then I was like, no. God damn it. We got to go to the beaches of Playa del Carmen and speak with the people. And I'm glad we did. We got to meet some interesting folks. Let's see. I'll hang around here for a little bit longer. See if we can talk to one more person before we go. What's your name? Jesus. Jesus. Nice to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you, Mr. Gico. Where, where, where are you? Are you? Do you live here? Are you in town from here? No, no. I'm in the country, but I'm not living in here. Okay. Where, whereabouts in the country? I, I, I live in Mexico City. Oh, uh, I was just in Mexico City. Yeah, yeah. Mexico you like City. It? Yeah, Mexico is awesome, man. Yes, I, did, I know. I did this in uh, Coyacan. Oh, what? Yeah. And what is your, the, how the people, uh, how did they like respond? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very interesting folks. I learned a lot about, um, you know, Mexican culture and like what I, you know, people there cared about. And it was, it was great. It was, it was, I had a great time there. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice to hear that. Yeah. So when, when did you stay there? Uh, one month ago. Oh, okay. How, how long have you lived in Mexico City for? For all, all, all my life. Wow, and uh, around, you, around sixty years. So sixty years, <laughs> yes. mostly yes. What do you What do you do there? I'm working as an employee. As an employee, regular employee. Uh, a what employee? I'm, I'm working in. I'm a mathematician. You're a mathematician. Yes, I oh, work wow. in something called statistical thinking. Statistical thinking. Yes. Wow. Do you Do you enjoy doing that? Yes, of course. Okay. I'm doing that for almost three years. Okay. And what about you? What do you do for a living? I do this. Really? Yeah. No, your your work is a little bit more fun, <laughs> I guess. Do you um uh tienes a familia uh, in Mexico no, City? No, no, just just for 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 visit the place. Okay, okay. Do you have your family uh, family in um in Mexico City? Yes, yeah, so all my family is from Mexico City. Okay, uh, tienes niños? Yes. Uh, and uh, not too small, but I'm I mean I have a kids, I have sons, but okay. no 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 niños. What um what uh, KSN? What do they do for for work and life? Both of them study. Okay. Uh, they are stu- students. Okay. Yep. Do you have a good relationship with them? Do you see, get to see them yes, a lot? Yes, I guess. Yes, I have very good relationship with for well, both of them. That's great. Yes. That's great. And what are you doing here in Playa del Carmen? Are you on vacation for celebrating Just something? Just lacing, share a nice time with my wife, share a very good time with her. <laughs> Uh, and just charla hueva, you know, it's listening, uh, still racing the sand and the mm-hmm. cama, cama, mm-hmm. bed, you know, just resting. Have you been here before? Yes. Okay. Four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. And, Absolutely uh, different. Uh, how? How so? 
when I came here f for first time, around 44, 40 years old, 40 years. Yep. The, this this place was just two blocks, nothing like that. Uh, almost empty, mm -hmm. very quiet uh, fisher fisher town for for, yeah. for, for fishing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, right here there are a lot of noise, muchos gringos. See. Sí. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't like that like that because it's like no more the people who used to live here before all of this. Yeah. Right now is in services, you know, keep keep garbage, stuff like that. So the people who, who live here, so the who people who lived here used to be the ones enjoying it. And now there's been tourists that come in and now they're the ones enjoying yes. it. Yes. And how, what do you feel like um, the relationship is like that you've observed between the locals and the tourists? I have been here for just uh, this, this trip, just for two, two, two nights. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of noise, almost the the disco noise, you know, the the, the, the kind of music, very noisy. Uh, the locals are like, uh, if they were like uh, shadows, always hide, just services, mm -hmm. and the tourists will. I, I feel like I, if I were in my my country, because I have to pay in dollars, I have to speak English. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, f I feel not good. You you feel like you're not even in Mexico. Yes, I, I, I of course. As you can feel, Mexico City is absolutely different right here. Mm -hmm. Right here is more like uh, any street in U.S. Mm -hmm. in Florida or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be rude. No, 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 no. Do you do you feel like I was just in Mexico City and and I, I've. I have read and I've heard things about a lot of like Americans coming and migrating into Mexico City. Have, is is that something that's going on? Uh, I feel like uh, some special areas in Mexico City. Yeah, it's most it's a really more common that you hear many more people speak English or even other languages like sure. French or Italian or German. Yeah. I mean, there are some some places there are a lot of uh, foreign people, mm -hmm. which is good. Which is, mm -hmm. is, is, is good mm -hmm. because in, in, instead of they s start to do the things that we are that we do, you know, mm. instead to be like a tourist, it's more like a, they they mix is a little bit an assimilation it, it, of culture. It's, it's, it's a little bit more friendly. Okay, okay. like in here, it's all like I was wearing in, in America, you know, in the yeah. states. Have you have you uh, been to the states before? Yeah. What do you think of the states? I mean, they have a great 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 things. But they have very bad things, you know. Okay. I gave can I, I guess one hundred thousand people is dying for drugs. Yeah. Which I, I guess is too bad. Yeah. Yeah. What uh what are, what are some like thing are, are there things that you observe there that that you you liked? In the states? Yeah. Too many things. Yeah. Too many things like uh, the, the culture, the things that you do for fun, the music, the films. I mean, I mean a lot of things. You are very good things. Mm -hmm. Have you traveled around the world a lot? No, not, not that much as I, as I, as I want, but okay. I, I have the chance to visit another country. Yes. Okay. Okay. Where, uh, where is your, like any dream destinations that you really want to go to? Mm, no, especially almost any, 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 any place. Okay. I, uh, okay. What do you do? What, what, why do you do, do you do this for, for what purpose? Well, uh, you know, the, the truth is, um, I, uh, I I don't know. I walk around the beach. I was I was walking around yesterday, and I okay. walk on the beach, and I'm just looking at people, and I'm like, "What's that guy over there's deal? You know, <laughs> yeah. where is this person from? What 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 are they doing here? I just trying to learn more about the people I share the planet with, you know, okay. and uh, trying to get answers. Like if I and also like you know, if I were here and I wasn't wearing a gecko costume, I wasn't filming anything, and I walked by you, I don't think we would talk. <laughs> Okay. You know what I yes. mean? Yeah, you know. And so uh, this is an interesting opportunity to just talk to people that maybe you wouldn't have talked to otherwise. And did, you, did you pick the gecko for do, for do this? Um, I, I I kind of had the gecko costume already for a different reason. Okay. And uh, and I started. Because it's an amazing, it's amazing animal. It's amazing. Oh, you like I, you like geckos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you what do you like about geckos? I mean, the the, the, the flexibility for them for change the colors. <laughs> Yeah, it's just amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Even you put some different lights on, on in, in front of them, yeah. they change. Muchas gracias. De nada. Um, Where are you from? I'm from uh, California. From uh, uh, San Francisco or? Uh, I live in Los Angeles right now. Okay. Have you been to Los Angeles? Yes. What do you think of Los Angeles? That was that that where a long time ago I used to live in Corona, which is very near from from Los Angeles, and I stayed there just one 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 couple of days. In Navidad, in Christmas, and at Christmas time, I remember where I stay 
in the middle of the downtown. A lot of people were there, uh, get uh, harm in the like kind of garbage can with with fire. Yeah, yeah. I, I was very very surprised of that. Yeah, because they were the, the most powerful country in the world. Yeah, there's a, that, lot, there's a lot. There's a lot of issues those kind like that. Of things, no? Yeah, there's a lot of issues like that yeah, in Los yeah. Angeles. So it was it was a little bit sub surprise for me, but it was a very nice place. I mean, yeah. I remember the Corona, California was a nice place to live. Yeah, yeah. Los Angeles has some problems, in, uh you know, but it's 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 a nice ish place to live. I I I, I don't love it there. I, I like the East Coast of the U.S. better. Okay. Like, have you been to New York City? No. New York City is really cool in yeah, Philadelphia, and I'm, I'm originally from Baltimore, and that's a great place. I used to do a couple of times of, in Boston. It's an amazing yeah. place. So when you are uh, not vacationing and not working and not hanging out with your family, what do you like to do? Do you have hobbies of any kind? Mm, not really. I think no, not really. I don't have many. No, no as Amer American people used to have a, be a carpenters or something. No? I don't have really just to chat with my kids, with my wife, something okay. like that. Something is, you know, nothing. How long have you been with your wife? Almost 10 years. Almost two years? 10. 10 years? Yes. How did you guys meet? We, we, I met her at the same place to, in at the work. You met her at work? Yeah. Oh, uh, eres una mathematician también? Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> She's also a mathematician? No. Just me. Oh. Just <laughs> <laughs> God, th can can you tell her I said thank you for for wait? Does she, she also speak English? Uh, not really. Oh, can you tell her I said thank you for waiting while I talked to you? Okay, gracias por por este por por esperar. <laughs> she, she's she's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, very, she's she's really cool. That's great. Yeah, That's great. Thanks, man. And for how, for how many days are you going to be to be here? Uh, mañana I'm out of here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where are you going to plan to go? Uh, back to Los Angeles. Back to Los Angeles. Yeah. And what are you going to do with all, all of these uh, interviews? Um, post them on YouTube and look at them and. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was fun though because I, I feel because like you I... know the mathematician. We are not people that used to other people inter uh, interview us. Really? Is that yeah. true? Yes. Uh, do you do you do you like being interviewed? Do you like being able to talk about yourself? No, not really. No, not really. <laughs> because but, you know, my life is not too interest. to I think too interesting. Well, I think your life is interesting. It's nice. I mean, I I don't have to comp any complaints about my life, but I, I think I'm, it it's not really interesting life. It's what, normal life. What is what is in in your life as a whole? What have been the best parts of it? I think my kids. Your kids. Yes, for for far, by far, by far, for sure. Yes. What have been the most difficult parts of it? The most difficult parts was when they. Uh, oldest one had an accident was very kind four or five days were really difficult we, we have to 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 take some decision that was even never expected to 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 have some to, to do some decisions never to be expected to, to take and never i was never prepared for those kind of decisions related with accidents and stuff is, is he okay now yeah she's, he's okay yes. okay very, good very Good, 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 good. Well, that's great that you, um, do you have grandkids? Hmm? Do you have grandkids? No, not yet. Okay. I hope someday to have a grandkids. Because, you know, in, now in Mexico, the, the youngest people, they don't want to have a kids. Really? Yeah. What, what do they want to do instead? Travel and do things and... The, the girl says, said that they have to have time to grow in professional careers and all those stuff about the contamination, uh, mm -hmm. environment, those kind of things, mm -hmm. do that the young people regret to have uh, kids. Oh, because they haven't had enough time to like develop themselves. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I, know, I don't know if my English is good enough for the interview. But no, I, your English but is I, great. But, but, your I, but I feel great. okay. No, 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 for your English okay. is great. It's funny, I spoke with, um, the very first guy I spoke with, he also was saying uh, his English wasn't great, but your guys' English, both of you guys is, is, is great. Es mejor de mi español. <laughs> mucho, mucho mejor de mi español. Um, it's okay. Alguien más uh, quieres hablar a las personas de computadora? Uh, anything more you want to say to the people of the, the computer? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, You have to send me the, the... The link? The link, yeah. Claro, claro. Just to see how I look <laughs> in cameras. Eres bonita. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, what is your name again? Jesús. Jesús. Mucho gusto, Jesus. Thank you very much for talking to Gecko. Lyle.
Lyle? Si. Sí. Okay, Lyle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. All right, folks. We did it. We withstood wind. We withstood shame. We withstood rejection. And above all, we got we did it. We talked to people on the beach as a gecko against all the odds. And honestly, it was great. Oh man, I, 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 we've recorded like a bunch of these episodes while I've been on this tour, and um, I say it at the end of all of them, uh, it's, it's, it's tough to set it all up and walk around as a gecko, and it's hot, and I'm like, ah, I don't feel like setting up the thing, and then I do it, and then at the afterwards, I'm like, holy shit, that went so much better than I thought it would be, that was so much more interesting stuff from, from random folks walking around than I thought we would get. Uh, it's been awesome. It's such a great honor to be able to to do this uh, on the beach in Mexico. And um, thank you guys for watching, man. We have uh, stories about love, stories about adventure, stories about family, stories about uh, life. It's good things. I meant what I was saying to Jesus, and I was like, I walk around all the time. I'm looking at people. I'm like, what's that fucking guy's deal? What's that f fucking person's deal? Why are they here? What's going on? I gotta know. I gotta know. And uh, we we get to find out right here on the, on the Talk to a Real Gecko show. So thank you all for taking this journey with me. And I will see you next time.